CMT, or charcoal marie tooth disease, also known as HMS and or hereditary motor and sensory neuropathy, is a genetic condition that causes several things to happen throughout the body, particularly in the feet and sometimes also in the hands. This is a condition that creates a loss of nerve function and as a result, the muscles in the foot start to change and become unbalanced. CMT, as I will refer to it in this discussion, is a little bit older term. CMT typically causes a high arch and the foot to start to turn in. Consequently, the ankle turns outward, creating somewhat of a cavus or clawed foot. This creates instability, so the foot tends to want to sprain. It appears almost like a constant ankle sprain. This disease is progressive and tends to create increasing deformity over time. Weakness usually becomes more significant as you age or become older. CMT is more common than most people know, affecting 1 in 2,500, and usually it's found in populations where that gene is more present. If you've noticed that you're having or have developed a more significant claw foot or a cavus foot, this is a foot with a higher arch and is even also associated with toes that start to curl up as well, then you may have this condition. You may also have conditions that are related to this, including some conditions of the spine or neurologic disease that's causing the foot to deform. In any case, if you start noticing progression of any deformity in your foot, it's appropriate for you to see a doctor and have this reviewed and looked at to ensure that this isn't something that needs to be addressed in an early security stage of the disease. You know you have charcoal marie tooth disease if after your physician has made the diagnosis and you also can connect it to any family members who had it as well. From home, there are a few things you can do to try to reduce some of the symptoms that happen from this condition. There are over-the-counter ankle braces that can help to reduce the potential for ankle sprains. Also, shoe wear should be chosen that is neutral, has relatively good padding, has plenty of room for your toes, and the high arch of your foot. Athletic shoe wear is usually the most appropriate and less symptom producing of any of those types of shoes. At home, you can also reduce calluses by taking care of calluses that develop because of this condition and you should also maintain a good level of exercise. However, with this condition, charcoal marie tooth disease or HMSN and it is difficult to strengthen muscles and to overcome the condition as it progresses. When you see your doctor for this, several things will happen. They will consider x-rays to look at the severity of the deformities in your foot and then will also look at ways to help them to choose good graces for you to reduce symptoms. When you're younger, there are different kinds of braces that it hold and prevent the foot from deforming. As you age, however, and if those deformities become severe, then surgical treatment can be very helpful to slow down the progress and reverse some of the changes that happened in your foot. This can include a combination of releases of tendons, transfers of tendons, and also sometimes bone cuts that cause bones to shift into a better position. This often takes healing time from between 6 weeks and sometimes up to 3 to 4 months before it is resolved. However, almost universally, patients who have appropriately selected surgeries for this condition become significantly better.